I work in a small biotech lab and we just made a huge discovery. Over half the human race is infected by a mind-altering parasite. I'm going to keep this short and the details sparse because I've been up for three days straight and I'm getting very foggy. I work in a lab in Southern... It doesn't matter. We are primarily concerned with human parasites and their effect on the mind. For those of you who have already read all the freaky shit about toxoplasmosis, you have a pretty good idea about the kind of things we were interested in. We struck big when we got some government funding for researching a link between parasitic infection and major depression. In science, it's not at all uncommon to set out to answer one question and find an answer to something you weren't even asking. The mark of a good scientist is the one who can pick that anomaly out and figure out what it is the answer to. We started noticing a... Let's call it an anecdotal trend. I can't get too into detail because while they are definitely going to know this is about them, I can't have them knowing who I am specifically. About half of the blood samples we tested, from random sampling of course, contained traces of the element. Well, it doesn't matter. The point is, a little less than half of the blood samples had absolutely no trace of this element at all and a little more than half had roughly a picogram per liter, nearly undetectable unless you are specifically looking for it. But Dr. Bush is, quite simply, a savant. He had been poring over the data and came to us with the anomaly. Long story short, we traced it to a prion disorder. What's more, this prion would retain traces of this element for some purpose or another where an unaffected person's body would naturally expel it if it were to ingest it. Luckily, this meant a vector for curing it could be as simple as blocking ingestion of that trace element with a simple pharmaceutical. We started going back over the data and noticed our trend very quickly. We entered in all of the blood data and cross-referenced it with demographics, personality quizzes, and legal records. It was clear immediately. People with the prion disorder tended to be nearly 25% heavier, woke up nearly two hours later, and reported nearly triple the rate of major depression and nearly five times as many almost always answers to the question, do you sometimes feel like you have trouble understanding other people, compared to those without the trace element. Family income seemed to play a small part in mitigating the damage, so to speak it was still perfectly possible to become a functioning member of society with a disorder if you came from a good family, or so the statistics showed. Finally, we had synthesized a cure, and we were almost ready to go public. To this point, almost a year after discovering the disorder, we were forced to work in top-secret conditions. The government agency that had given us our grant had pretty much assumed full control of the operation at this point. The cure was as simple as we had hoped. Block access to the element and the personality disorder was cleared up within a month. A person would only have to get the shot one time to be permanently cured. There was nearly no discomfort. Most simply fell into a deep sleep within a few hours and awoke feeling like a new person. Like a fog had lifted, they said. Then they started opening up. They had been trapped for years. The prion disorder had shut down their control of their body and they simply watched. The interesting thing was their prion self didn't seem to know there was another consciousness present at all. It simply assumed control as if it had been Robert or Tiffany or James all along. But the actual consciousness born to the body was trapped. They still matured and learned along with the bodies, explaining why they were articulate and adult-like, even though most of them were children or teenagers when they were infected. The current version of them died and they woke up as someone else. Someone better, maybe. By all accounts from their test course, smarter, wittier, seemingly more personable and empathetic. But the reason why I'm writing this here... 
The agency involved is so impressed with the results, they are skipping the optional part of the cure. No testing for the disease, nothing. Just releasing the cure into the food supply to ensure America and the EU prosper compared to the rest of the world. You won't even realize it was you. You will go to sleep and someone else will wake up. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. I am so tired. I think I'm going to lie down for a while. Now that this weight has been lifted...